Since you dropped the word AI and you know Gen AI is a big uh, in the keynotes also we talked about. Uh, let's look what what role do you see Gen AI can or is playing in the observatory space or for Honeycomb or the open telemetry? I think there's a lot of people that are making a lot of pretty bold claims about what Gen AI can or can't do without necessarily having all the evidence yet. I do think it is going to be pretty transformative to observe to to data in general is actually how I see it. So one thing that Honeycomb has is we have a feature called Query Assistant, and that is powered by generative AI. And basically what it lets you do is it lets you ask questions in natural language. Um, and then we use that natural language query, turn it into a Honeycomb query. So instead of having to know the query dialect, you can just say like, show me all my errors grouped by region, and boop, it does it. I. That I'm actually pretty bullish on. I, I feel like in the very near future, most kind of data exploration tasks like that will be done using LLMs and Gen AI just to generate the queries because it's a lot easier than having to remember like SQL. You know, like I, I still have to look up how to do a lot of things in SQL. Um, and don't even get me started on PromQL. You know, it's, it's a very powerful and expressive language, but like you have to master it. And I'm, I, I am always newly surprised when it's like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. You know, there's so much you, so much you can do with these query languages we have and people simply don't know them. But that's where these large language models and generative AI comes in. It makes it possible for people that aren't experts to ask questions in a natural language and have the machine spit something back. And that's, that's gonna be hugely impactful. Now, where I think thing, the, the plot gets a little dropped is when you talk about like automated remediation and you start talking about the AI fixing things. And that's a bit more, I think there will certainly be things that get better with that. Like open telemetry specifically is a great input to these kind of language models because the data is so highly structured and there's so many really great schemas that say this is what this thing means. Um, and that's great context to give to Gen AI so that it can do something useful. However, while systems tend to be similar, they're all slightly different enough that it's really challenging to make something truly general purpose there, I believe. I read a really interesting paper from Microsoft talking about a uh, copilot, what do they call it, like copilot um, root cause analysis, like copilot root cause analysis. And it's basically an LLM that looks at when there's an incident or when there's an alert gets fired, it looks at all of these run books they basically have, and it finds the one that matches and um, does, some, does some LLM magic and pulls together a bunch of different data and pops out a, hey, this alert fired, it's probably because of this, I think so because of that. That works really well if you're Microsoft, right? And you have a huge system in production with years and years and years of operational experience and processes that you can sort of map into the LLM. <coughs> Excuse me. That kind of data quality and availability and all that, that's not a universal, right? And I think if you take the same sort of thing and you start splashing it out like random Kubernetes clusters, I don't know how well it'll work. I can certainly see Amazon or Google or Microsoft or whoever like making stuff like this available um, through their platforms because they probably have a generalized idea of like they can find the similarities. You know, a lot of people are running managed Kubernetes, but you know, I don't know, right? Like, I think that's the great cool thing about it is that I actually don't know. There is obviously applications there, but I think you have to be in this observability 2.0 mindset to really make use of them because you have to have that high, the high amount of context, high amount of structured data, high amount of semantically accurate data. And without that, all of this stuff just kind of falls apart. <laughs>